We've been in Taiwan at Computex 2025 to bring you all of the latest monitor and display news. And we've got some exciting updates to share with you today from Gigabyte. There's loads to go through, including a new 500Hz OLED monitor, dual mode LCDs, and the world's first Gen 4 primary RGB tandem W OLED monitor to show you. Do let us know in the comments section below which one you're most excited for, but let's get right into it. Headlining the event was the new Aorus FO27Q5P, which will be one of the world's first 500Hz OLED gaming monitors. It's a 27-inch sized QD OLED monitor with a 2560 by 1440 resolution and a massive 500Hz refresh rate, which offers truly amazing motion clarity and gaming experience. That includes clear MR21000 certification, which is the highest that's currently available. We've seen and tested 480Hz WOLED monitors in the past, and now this kind of super high refresh rate is available from the competing QD OLED panels too, for those who prefer the glossier coating finish and the higher color volume that this technology can offer. The panel looked really great in person and motion clarity was fantastic. You can find full specs on our main website for all of the screens covered today, but a couple of key features of note for this model would be the inclusion of DisplayPort 2.1 connectivity, with full speed UHVR20 bandwidth to support modern graphics cards with no compression. The screen also has daisy chaining support and there's also HDMI 2.1 and USB Type-C provided as well for an excellent range of connectivity. The 500Hz QD OLED panel that is used here is one of the first monitor panels from Samsung Display that will also support higher brightness than the panels which have come before, including 300 nits full screen brightness, 500 nits for 10% APL and 1000 nits for peak 3% APL. This allows it to be certified under the VESA Display HDR 500 True Black tier, which is a step up in brightness requirements compared to the familiar True Black 400 tier used to date on QD OLED monitors. This new model will also feature Gigabyte's recently added BFI or black frame insertion function available via the ultra clear setting in the menu. That offers improved motion clarity for up to 250Hz, half the native refresh rate of the panel, and BFI can deliver the same motion clarity as 500Hz normal without the system challenges of pushing that kind of frame rate. Gigabyte have also added now new anti-flicker modes for VRR situations, which is great to see, and there's loads of AI tactical features and gaming functions that can auto-switch the picture mode and control things like crosshairs and black equalizer, dynamically adjusting them to enhance your gaming experience. We're told that this screen should be released around July time, but pricing is still to be finalized. Next up, and one which was not promoted heavily before the event and which we were surprised to see, but which we found particularly exciting was the MO27Q28G. This will be the world's first to use LG Display's new fourth gen primary RGB tandem monitor panel. For those who might not know what this is, it's LG Display's latest WOLED technology that has been used in their top end TVs this year offering brighter and more efficient performance and which they've been looking to incorporate into monitor panels. It's also known as Meta 3.0 and it removes the need to use MLA or MLA Plus that's been used to date and so it's a fundamental change to the panel structure and technology. We've got a whole video on this topic so do check that out if you want to know a lot more. We knew before that LG Display were working on a 27 inch 1440p panel using this new technology and we expected it to offer a 240Hz refresh rate but it turns out it's actually going to be a 280 hertz. It's quite surprising to see Gigabyte as the first to announce the screen using this actually, as traditionally they've been linked only to Samsung Display QD OLED panels in recent times, but they're diversifying their OLED lineup now, which is great news for consumers. The MO27Q28G also delivers a brighter HDR performance with certification under the VESA Display HDR 500 True Black tier and a peak brightness spec of 1500 nits, which is up from the current WOLED monitor specs of 1300 nits. We look forward to seeing these new Gen 4 WOLED panels in practice and what they can bring to the monitor market. Apparently this model will be released around July, August time and will be priced at an attractive price point of 499 US dollars. We've got another really interesting OLED monitor to tell you about that drives a new low price point for this segment, so stick around for more on that in a moment. Before we get to that though, we should talk about the M27UP as well, which we saw at the event. And this is a new 27 inch IPS LCD monitor with a 4K resolution and 160 Hz refresh rate and a dual mode support for 1080p at 320 Hz for certain faster gaming situations if you need it. 
This one boasts some top-end gaming features such as their Aim Stabilizer Sync, which allows you to use a blur reduction mode at the same time as VRR for gaming. We noted variable overdrive available within the menu as well, which will help in gaming situations. It's got a KVM switch and AI tactical gaming features too. You can even get the screen in a white version if you have a white system and setup, which looks really good. That's available as the M27 UP Ice edition. We confirmed that this screen will have an attractive price point of 299 US dollars and will be released in late June. The ICE edition is apparently going to be marginally more, probably around 310 US dollars, we were told. There was another 27 inch LCD monitor on the show which features integrated smart TV features. The M27 QS has a 1440p resolution and 180Hz refresh rate, so as far as gaming monitors go, this is a more modest spec but built into the screen is Google software that offers a massive range of smart TV streaming apps and features so that you can use the monitor as a crossover between a TV and a desktop monitor. Ideal perhaps for a bedroom or dorm room setup. It's got some integrated dual 5 watt speakers, a built-in ethernet port and a KVM switch function so it's pretty versatile as a docking monitor as well and there's a handy remote control which makes using the screen and especially all of those built-in apps much easier. We found that responsive and intuitive to use in our testing. This model will be released around July, August at an initial promotional price of only 249 US dollars. Let's talk finally about the other new OLED monitor that we saw at the event, and that's the MO27Q2A. This is another 27 inch size screen with a QD OLED technology panel, but with a mid tier 280 Hz refresh rate, allowing for a very competitive price point for an OLED display. This will hopefully help make them more affordable and accessible to the masses. Like all of Gigabyte's other OLED monitors that we've talked about, there's a wide range of OLED care functions, a fanless design with custom heatsink, and a three-year warranty which includes burning cover. We've got full specs and details that can be found on our website for this model and all of the others if you want to know a lot more. This screen will be priced at US$499 and released in the coming months. So there's all the news from Computex 2025 from Gigabyte's product area. Do let us know in the comments section below which one you're most excited for, and make sure you do hit subscribe to stay up to date on all of our Computex news and coverage that's coming up. Thank you for watching, we'll catch you next time.